And this is now I want to explain to you the importance of getting the seniority of the role that you're applying for right. And um, basically, uh, the, the, the essence of what I'm going to say here is that more senior types of roles, senior solutions architects, for instance, are more hands-off, whereas solutions architects or uh, PM roles or uh, technical uh, PMs would be more hands-on, you know, when compared to principal TPMs if you want. Um, and um, why is this so important? Um, in job interviews, I have three scenarios for you to consider. Um, it could be as simple as a job interview question. Are you a hands-on or a hands-off PM, if you want? And uh, if you get this wrong, you will immediately, uh, significantly lower your chances to pass a job interview. I know this was uh, an eliminatory question in a final interview with Apple, for instance, for uh, the difference between a senior and a principal uh, TPM, right? Uh, so think very well how to answer this interview question. I just had a coaching session with someone uh, today. I had two solutions architects, one senior and one solution architect. And I asked the senior one, hey, are you hands-on or hands-off? And they answered, I'm a hands-on, you know. And then after five seconds, they, no, I take that back. I'm a hands-off solution architect, right? So uh, think carefully how you would go around answering or a hands-on or a hands-off type of person. The second scenario um, I'd like to talk about here is the type of examples that you use in job interviews uh, will be will uh, define the type of role you are best at. So. What happens here is that uh, um, even if you could play the role of uh, someone more senior or more junior than you, you should really sell yourself on the best types of experiences you can talk about in a job interview. Uh, this is hugely important because uh, many times what people do is would be to fit into a certain persona or certain behavior uh, with one of their least interesting examples you know, just for the sake of fitting into that specific example and showing up, uh, showing up as a, as a um, less qualified candidate for the type, for the seniority of the role that they're applying for. Okay, so uh, when building your study bank and you're building your answers, your experiences to job interview questions, get the seniority of the role right. So talk about the seniority of the role you have, not the one you could have, or uh, some more junior uh, responsibilities you have in the past, unless you know it's a, it's a niche type of example. And the third thing I wanted to bring to your attention is how these types of examples can make or break your whole interview with the company, is uh, take this example. Uh, I, recently, I actually had two people this year pass through screening rounds. One was for a, uh, for a TPM and the other one for, for, for a researcher. And their choice of examples during the screening rounds were those of someone who were more senior than them, right? So essentially they bluffed a little bit, you know, as it's normal, it's nothing new to do this in job interviews. However, uh, the recruiter or whomever they were screening them considered their answers as, hey, yes, this is an extremely great answer. I mean, what, your, your answers are the one of a principal TPM and that of a principal researcher instead of just a normal senior TPM or senior researcher type of role. And they invited them on the loop, it was with Amazon this time, uh, on the loop for a principal TPM, principal researcher type of roles. Uh, what happened here is that they used one example, probably they had their best example, that one they, they made them look so good uh, that they could be uh, seen as a principal. But the rest of their examples were, you know, that of their actual level. And what happened, they went through the loops and they both failed because they weren't principal TPMs or principal researchers. It didn't match, right? So just because they gave those examples in the screening rounds, they influenced the recruiters, the hiring process, and they invited them to a more senior type of role. And eventually they didn't end up getting the principal nor the, uh, the role that they originally uh, applied for. So... Uh, long story short, uh, know exactly what you're selling yourself on during job interviews, including screening 
rounds, okay? Because uh, the seniority, getting the seniority of the role is critically important to get uh, right and have the right types of expectations if you want to optimize your chances to pass job interviews. I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.